Now let's take a look at the class of degree requirements in KNUST. Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. This is Khan City Academy and on this channel we provide educational tutorial videos, study tips and more. So if you are new here, consider subscribing for more videos and don't forget to hit the post notification bell to be among the first people to be notified whenever a new video is out. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how your CWA is calculated every semester. CWA simply means Cumulative Weighted Average and it's the grading system used to assess students in KNUST. CWA is one of the commonly used weighted average systems which depends on the mark obtained by each student out of 100 and the credit hours assigned to each course. In KNUST, the main examination takes 70% and the remaining 30 is shared between mid-semester examination, assignment, either group or individual, attendance, etc. Depending on the lecturer's discretion, aside from determining the CWA, the weighted average system is used to determine the class of degree a student will graduate with at the end of their full course. Now let's take a look at the class of degree requirements in KNUST. So in KNUST, one will require a CWA of 70.00 and above to attain first class. For second class upper, you need to get a CWA between 60.00 and 69.99 and for second class lower you need to get between 50.00 and 59.99 and anything below 50.00 will fetch you a pass so let's assume you're a telecommunications engineering student and in a particular semester these are the courses you are supposed to read and we also have the credit hours assigned to each course so Math 151 is a 4 credit hour course. This simply means that in a week, we are going to study Math 151 for 4 hours in the classroom. Applied Electricity is a 3 credit hour course. Basic Mechanics is also 3 credits. We have Com Skills, 2 credits. Environmental Studies, also 2 credits. Technical Drawing, 2 credits. And then we have Engineering Technology, also 2 credits. So let's say you had 80% in Math 151, 75% in Applied Electricity, 60% in Basic Mechanics, 75% in Com Skills, 68% in Environmental Studies, 90% in Technical Drawing, and then 96% in Engineering Technology. Now let's calculate the weighted score for each course. Now to find the weighted score, we need to multiply the number of credits by the score you had out of 100. So 4 times 80 is 320. 3 times 75 is 225. 3 times 60 is 180. 2 times 75 is 150. 2 times 68 is 136. 2 times 90 is 180 and then 2 times 96 is 192. Now to find the CWA for this particular semester, we need to sum up all these values and divide by the total credit. Now let's find the total credit. 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 plus 2 is 16 and then 16 plus 2 is 18 so the total credit hours is 18 now 320 plus 225 plus 180 plus 150 plus 136 plus 180 plus 192 is equal to 1383 so this is called the cumulative weighted score now to find the cwa we are going to divide the cumulative weighted score by the total number of credits so the cwa is going to be 1383 divided by 18 which is the total number of credits so 1383 divided by 18 is equal to 
0.83 recurring. So your CWA for this particular semester is going to be 76.83. So what class of degree do you think the student will attain in that particular semester? Put down your comments in the comment section below. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.